I've said this many times and I really believe it. I think we come to this planet many times to learn whatever lessons we need to learn. And for some of us, it's like coming to kindergarten. It's real simple and we just skip through life and it's easy. And for many of us, it's like going to graduate school and the lessons are much tougher. And yet we come in with everything we need to handle every situation that there will be. And we want to know that. We don't want to put limits on ourselves. Remember, problems are opportunities for growth that we give ourselves. And they're either payback from past negative thinking, because remember, it's a very simple law of life. What you give out comes back. It may come back right away, it may not come back for a week or a month or five or ten years, but what you give out is going to come back. And if it's coming back as payback, then you've got to deal with it. Or there are things where experiences where we test ourselves. Now, a lot of us have been doing a lot of work on ourselves. I know that. And you know, we work on an issue and we say, oh, I'm going to clear this. And you do your meditation and your affirmation, etc. And you say, that's over with. I've cleared that. It's done. I'll never have to deal with that again. Thank God. <laughs> but how do you know you've really cleared it if you don't test yourself? So you've got to realize that whatever problem you work on and say, that's it, I'm really clearing it, you know, I'll never do it again. You've got to test yourself to find out if you've really done it. So you create it one more time to see how you're going to react. <laughs> now what happens with many people is the problem comes up and they jump back to the old way of reacting. And then on top of that, they beat themselves up and say, oh, all this work I've done and see, I haven't gotten anywhere. I'm right where I used to be, you know, thrash, thrash. <laughs> and that many people do that. But what we have to realize is that it's not that. It's a little test to see how are we going to react to it? Are we going to go into our old pattern or are we going to go into the affirmations that we have learned, the new statements and the new truths about ourselves that we've decided are going to be true for ourselves? So if you find yourself in a problem when you think you've cleared it totally, realize you're just giving yourself an opportunity to, to react to this problem in a new way. Because the moment you do that, it's going to disappear very quickly. I don't care whether it's a health problem or a finance problem or a relationship problem. You immediately go into your positive affirmations, whatever they may be for you. And know that, no, this isn't the truth for me. And it's only an issue that something, remember, every problem has a solution. And this is something I can deal with. All is well in my world. This is a temporary thing. I'm working through it. You know, and you're not a bad person ever. See, do we see only the limits? Do we go into, oh, poor me, here it goes again? Well, if, if, it is, if it is a continuous thing, then it means that this is a lesson that we haven't learned yet. That's all it means. So we need to do a little work on it. See, do we see limits or do we open ourselves to possibilities? Tremendous possibilities. There are so many ways we can do things. Remember, we don't have to always know how things are to be worked out. We just need to be willing. Doesn't matter what the problem is, you don't have to figure out the how, but be willing to change, be willing to let go, be willing to open yourself to something new. We can trust and we can know. We can trust and know things like all is well, and everything is working out for the best. Everything is working out for the best. And stay with that. See, I think it's essential that we move away from our limited thinking or beliefs or we're going to be left behind. It's time for us to develop a more cosmic view of life. The consciousness development movement now is happening now on a scale that it has never happened before. It's overtaking the informational development enormously. I saw a chart not so long ago that just fascinated me, and it was a graph that showed the development 
that has been going on since the beginning of recorded history. And there was this long stretch, long, long stretch of the agricultural movement where people just dug in the ground for their food, period. Then we had the industrial movement and it came and the graph started to go up and it went a certain way. And then somewhere, I think it's in about the 50s, we began what we call the informational thing. This is when computers and all the things that can communicate around the planet so quickly came along. And all of a sudden the graph starts to do this. But at about the same time as that was happening, there's another thing that's beginning to happen, about 20 years now. And the graph is incredible because it's the consciousness raising movement and it's going like this. Consciousness raising, is going up at an incredible rate, and this is happening all over the planet. It's absolutely amazing.